This is the 2021 Polaris Slingshot R, a three-wheeled plaything that's probably one of the most expensive toys that I can think of off the top of my head. It's a hell of a lot of fun to drive up in the canyons, but its three-wheeled layout means that there are some very obvious practicality compromises. However, if you've got about $32,000 to spend on a weekend trinket, those issues probably are the last thing on your mind. Before we get into some of the specifics as to why this is such a special and fun to drive machine, don't forget to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel so that we can keep on bringing you videos like this one. First of all, let me explain why I am sitting still and talking to you about driving impressions instead of out on the road talking to you about driving impressions. Since the government considers this vehicle a motorcycle, you have to wear a helmet anytime you're on the move. And since I couldn't really make a microphone work with a helmet, I just decided to pull over and talk to you a little bit about how this thing drives. The Slingshot is an absolutely divine sports car. They did such a good job tuning this steering to give you a lot of feel and a lot of feedback, even though it's a power assisted unit. There's also a traditional five speed manual transmission An automatic with paddle shifters is optional. I wanted a more pure driving experience, so I went with the five speed and I'm very glad I did. The clutch is really easy to operate and it shifts very well. Additionally, it puts the power down very effectively. Even though there's only one rear wheel, you don't really lose a lot of grip unless you're really hammering it out of a tight corner. And there is a lot of power to put down too. There's more than 200 horsepower, which doesn't necessarily sound like a lot, but keep in mind this car weighs just a shade over 1600 pounds. That means a zero to 60 time of 4.9 seconds. That is really fast for the price that you're paying. Polaris also did a very good job of designing this vehicle's ergonomics. I've got more than enough leg room, I can reach the steering wheel easy, and I've got an easy reach to the surprisingly good infotainment system. Honestly, some traditional automakers could take a few notes. There are some clear compromises though for this vehicle's form factor. For example, since it's not technically a car, it doesn't technically need to comply with federal motor vehicle safety standards, and that means you don't get an airbag on for the driver or the front passenger. However, you do get seat belts, which is kind of nice, particularly since you're so exposed to the outside world. Speaking of, you're also very exposed in a motorcycle as well, but motorcycles do have one notable advantage over this vehicle. You're kind of sitting up high on your motorcycle and you can kind of see the traffic around you. You don't have that same luxury in the Polaris Slingshot. You're actually about eye level with the car next to you's wheel. So your chances of being seen by an inattentive driver are practically nothing. Since it's kind of a toy, safety doesn't necessarily need to be a huge consideration, but at the same time, Polaris does want to give you a fighting chance. That's why it's got a pretty robust safety cage all around you and a pair of twin roll hoops behind you, just in case you end up shiny side down. The final compromise is in terms of practicality. They have made the most of the space available with a decently sized glove box and a couple of bins at the top of the dash. There are also two relatively large bins behind the seats. Total storage space is about the same as what you might find in another small roadster, but since it's split between a bunch of different locations, you're not necessarily going to be able to take the same cargo with you. However, none of those roadsters are going to offer the same immediate excitement that the Slingshot does. It's fast, there's plenty of grip, it handles predictably, and it's so much fun to drive. Let's be honest, nothing in this class of vehicle like a Miata is very practical anyway, and so Polaris just throws that out. All they want you to do is have fun while driving, and if you couldn't already tell, it makes the slingshot pretty unique. I spent all day driving this thing in the canyon, and as expected, it's an absolute blast. It does a lot of the motorcycle things very well in terms of your connection to the road and to the outside environment, but at the same time, it's very user friendly. There's a steering wheel, a gear shift, and three pedals, so it's easy to just jump in and get on the road without a very steep learning curve. There are obviously some compromises associated with this layout, but at the same time, you could consider this vehicle something of a bargain because it gets way more attention than any six-figure supercar I've ever driven. People absolutely love it. They wave at me from the road, they stop me at gas stations, and they just have questions. It's a lot of fun. If you want a vehicle with a personality as big as yours, the Polaris Slingshot R is the vehicle for you.